then yeah, uh, uh, it should look relatively good. But for now, it's just about getting functionality. The the night. G'day, guys. My name's Josh. You can call me Ja Woodle. And welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 17. Once again, we are we, we are back doing the gyrocopter speedrun. The speedrun to see how quickly I can get everything I need, all the levels, level 120, to get myself a gyrocopter and fly away from everything that is bad about the zombie apocalypse. There is the morning time letting me know that it's safe to go outside once again. You can see I have built all my flagstone blocks down here, ready to build some sort of XP grinder killing corridor. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a ranged one or a melee one, given that ammo is reasonably hard to find, and I don't want to, I'm going to be killing so many zombies, probably a melee corridor. So I've got the poles there just for that. I've got some torches and stuff to light it up as well. We've got all the things I need there, plus the wrench to build it, but I haven't quite decided where I'm actually going to build it. There's a couple of different options, and I can't really decide which one's going to be the best one. I need to go downstairs, actually. Please don't break your legs in the a bale of hay oh thank god now every time i fall into hay now i get worried am i going to clip the just like very very side of the bale and break all my ankles you never quite know but i think i'm going to build it out here somewhere not actually attached to my barn but maybe just a little bit outside of that although if i do that then my uh land claim block can't actually protect me from uh or protect the blocks from extra damage but i haven't i haven't decided either way actually maybe just out here there's a bunch of trees and stuff out here I could clear out this ground here, so like for the moment I could still live in the barn, but then uh, uh, later on I can remove it into a base at the end of the killing corridor. I'm not sure, but I think this might be a pretty good spot to do it. Also because it is in the temperate zone, not the desert, so I won't just like burn up all the time. I can stop overheating every three minutes and actually like, you know, regulate my body temperature like a regular person would. It's weird that in this game mode, I actually don't hate clearing resources as much as I would in a regular game mode because you get experience for clearing stuff. Cutting down trees, breaking down boulders, mining, doing all that kind of stuff gives you a fair whack of experience. So it's actually not that bad having to do this now. But uh, I just need to make sure I'm not wasting too much time in between them. So as soon as this one breaks, <laughs> run over to the other boulder. Any time wasted not actually getting XP is time genuinely wasted. But this should, uh, this whole area here should be just about big enough, I think, to build a killing corridor. Maybe like I'll have the entryway from the road so that they all kind of center over here. Once that's done, I'll load it up with like campfires and torches and stuff up the top to lure in some screamers. So then rather, I mean, I won't do it during the day because the screamers normally bring in uh, regular zombies with move far, far too slow for well, me and my patients. So I'll only really like do all the harvesting at night because uh, that'll be the most efficient time to do it. Uh, during the day, I'll still go off and see if I can find some decent stuff because I still need good loot as well as the experience. If I roll around with a bunch of level two shit, I'm gonna have a bad time. The field is cleared of all the big heavy stuff. There's still the grass in the way, but I can deal with that a little bit later. The sun has come up enough as well for me to actually be able to see my surroundings. Now I just need to figure out where the best spot's gonna be. Maybe, I mean, far enough away from the barn that we get caught in the fences and stuff. So over here a bit more. Uh, I can't really tell where the middle between clunky oil. There's also that water tower there, which is getting right in the way. So maybe, maybe right here. Why not? What have I, what have I got over here? Let's put down the first block. I didn't, I didn't make myself any stairs. Stairs, flagstone stairs. Uh, six of those, I guess. I'll just make six for now because I'm going to make uh, just like a one wide cor uh, corridor to start with just to make sure that, I mean, I can actually get it done. Something smaller just to start with and I can build up off it later on, which should be just fine up like that. I'm wasting all of my uh, my blocks doing this bit early like that. There we go. I think that's going to be the right amount. Let's get my, where, the, where did my, there are the stairs. So let's, let's see. I uh, need to go six high is normally how the killing corridor works. One, two, three, four, five, six. This feels a lot higher than it has previously. Is it always this high? I don't know. Oh, no, because I normally dig it down one. Okay. Well, that's right. I don't have to do that this time. I did actually end up getting rid of that uh, stair right on the top because it just looked a bit too tall. It looked a bit too high up there. And I didn't really like it that much. I've gone against my own design. And I've broken it for myself. But that's. I'm sure it'll still be fine in the long run. I've then measured out the whole distance with the frames. So it'll be 13 long plus an extra couple on the end for the actual uh, wedge tip drop. And then this is going to be my main support down here uh, to where I actually go up. Stands. Let's build my way up there onto this one. 
and this needs to match the same one so i think that's going to be the right height all the way along there that is very very good now before i do anything else because i'm a little bit worried about everything drying in time uh let's get my wrench out and just start upgrading the base of these ones these i mean the support pillars i say it every time i build a killing corridor the supporting pillars are the most important part because if the zombies can break down your entire establishment faster than they could run through the corridor to get you then that's what they're going to do instead so you're going to get yourself killed if you don't upgrade your support pillars that should be enough for that one for now i will build it out and uh reinforce that a little bit later but for the moment just gonna make sure that everything is hunky dory before i keep building that looks fine to me or could we just build some extra ones down the bottom okay which side which side am i going to stand on to beat up all the zombies i wonder i don't know i'm gonna go to the single path for now so i only need to be on one side uh, what's gonna be the right one? I need to try and remember how I built, uh, the, the melee killing corridor in the Woodle Park. I think it was just, like, an extra line along the side, and that's where I put the poles to protect myself, so I could stand out on the other side out here. I think, I think that was the way I did it. So let's keep building out like this, make it a little bit wider. I'm probably gonna need some extra normal flagstone blocks. I really only, uh, I, 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 when I crafted all these blocks for this, I crafted with a different design in mind. That was dumb, but now I'm here. It'll be okay, because I can always make some more in my hot little hands. Yeah, that seems about right. I'm gonna have to build up some extra supports down here. In fact, while I'm there, let's go, what do I need? One, two, three, four. I'm gonna need another, like, eight uh, uh, flagstone blocks, I think. I'm running out of cobblestone rocks, so I might have to go on a raid to one of the hundred other farms that are in this town and dig up all of the cobblestone blocks, whatever I can find, which that, that, that'll, that'll be fine. The, the lack of resources is not something I'm particularly concerned about, but I do remember uh, the, the mistakes I've made in the past by not putting enough reinforcement into these things. So I might even like, maybe like just there, maybe right out of the middle there, instead of putting it like in line with the other poles there, I'll put one right in the middle so that I can uh, support it without having to uh, use as much resources as I might have had to otherwise, because that'll give me the support I need there. This is all supported up here. Just to be better, more safe than sorry. I really don't wish th want this to collapse right before a Screamer Horde shows up, because that will be the end of me and the end of this challenge. Oh, there is the end of my cobblestone supply, but that's okay. There's plenty more to be gotten out in the world, but I'll wait until I actually go out for another looting run before I do that. I need to finish building the killing corridor first. Now, I built it with we uh, wedges all along like this. Oh, not wedges, ramps rather, all along like that, so that I could like, kind of stand up there, reach over, and beat down zombies on the other side. But I did have the trouble with that that I couldn't see like underneath. Like those ramps blocked my sight when I knocked some zombies out. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work out for me this time. I'm hoping that given this is only going to be a single one, the zombies will just kind of get pushed off the edge and I won't have to worry about it too much. Uh, but I, I want to think maybe, maybe I can just use like two poles. You know, like I can get the flagstone poles here and I can use those ones instead. Because if I get them rotated the right way, like, not, like that way, put one like that and then one like touching on the top, Maybe that'll make like a solid wall, solid enough for them to run past. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll, um, oh, which way am I going to do it? I, I don't know. This is a big decision. So here's what I've decided. It's going to be risky, but if there's a time to test it, it's going to be now before the hordes get particularly more dangerous. I'm going to go all the way along with just regular poles up to here, uh, the, up to the end here. So I've always got an option to hit them. And then just on top... Oh, that was the wrong button. I'm going to go, and I'm going to get one that just meets up rather nicely. Come on, where is it? Where is it? There it is, like that. So double stacking the poles so I can see over, I can see under. Seems pretty good to me. Seems like it should work. Then on the other side, I could just show you before I finish it all off. It suddenly got very dark out here. I want to go get the right bloody position. That one. Just like that. Another layer of poles along there. So triple stacking the poles, which should give me enough HP that they might not try and beat their way through. But more importantly, I can put my barbed wire underneath that. So I have my pole on top protecting my barbed wire from taking damage. I have the pole underneath for extra sturdiness. So three layers of poles and some barbed wire should should i'm often quite wrong about these things protect me for the horde so i can actually melee these jeffries as they run up here rather than trying to kill them all and wasting all my ammo with ranged attacks uh at the end here i'll put just like some oh maybe this is, i've got so many bloody flags so i may as well use them somewhere uh i want you guys to turn on a nice little angle though can i get a nice angle for me so it makes it all feel nice and like enclosed in here give me the there we go that one 
Oh, uh, will that block? Will that block my vision for them coming up the stairs? I, I don't know. Nah, it'll be, it'll be fine. Whatever. That can just stay like that. She'll be right, mate. I've only really done half of the build, but I'm out of uh, cobblestone, so I can't continue to fix up the gaps and stuff like that. I need to put like some sort of roof on this as well, so they don't jump over. There is lots still to be done, but before I can do that, I need to go on a raid. So I was quickly make myself a storage chest for the base over here, because I would hate to have to take everything I'm carrying around with me right now on a raid. Let's put you like right down the end here. Yeah, that'll do. Why not? You can just go there. You'll probably get destroyed by a cop in no time, but I'll just have to learn to deal. Now, everything of you, all of you that I don't need right now, into this box. I'll come back for all of you later. Doesn't matter what you are. You don't need to be on me right now. I will be happy to leave you behind. I've got food, got honey, got ammo. That should be enough for me. All right. Where have I not been already? Where can I go for a raid? Maybe we should just go hit that farm real quick to... Actually, I need to go get my shovel as well out of the barn so I can get the stuff for the killing corridor. And then maybe do a quick raid while I'm out there. Or maybe I should just focus on the task at hand and finish the killing corridor. Then do a raid if I have any time left over at the end of the day. Where is that drop? A freaking long way away. Dude, you couldn't have like... Jesus Christ, I'm never going to get that. It's on the other side of the freaking world. So this joint should still be empty of Jeffries from the last time I came through here. It looks like it is... Yeah, we look fine. Look at all the stuff, though. Look at all the stuff waiting for me. There are bags and boxes and everything ever that a man could want. Anyone, any boy like me who wants to build his beloved killing corridor just needs to come to a barn. Almost everything I need is in this barn. It's going to take me a while to dig it all up, though. Oh, am I gonna have any? Am I gonna have any light left at the end of this? I don't think I'm going to. I reckon I'll probably finish this right as night drops, and then my only goal will be to draw in screamers and then fight them off and punch them in my face with the big dick of a sledgehammer. That's my only mission. It's my only achievement I want to tick off today. Oh boy, who'd have thought that shoveling a whole bunch of concrete would be so much hard work? This is taking forever. It's already three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just, just shoveling away. My shovel's almost dead again. I repaired it before I left home. And I'm already doing really not so good on the uh, keeping my shovel alive front. Oh, now breaking down one of those means that like it immediately falls. Same with that one out there. I'll dig up these ones here, but I don't want to don't want to risk those uh those floating pallets until the very last option. Uh, in fact, I did. I just got remembered as well. I got a skill point a second ago from all this shoveling. Uh, what was I supposed to put it into? There was something that was very important that I put this into, and I've forgotten what it was now. Shit, maybe I shouldn't spend it until I actually remember what it was. I think it was like slow metabolism or something, which, or maybe healing factor. One of the two. Um, well, I feel like slow metabolism is going to be better for me because then I can spend less time uh, with food and water, given that that's always like a constant thing that I need to be putting into my body. I'm sure that I wasn't supposed to be that one. I'm sure there was somewhere I was supposed to spend a point instead, but I've forgotten, okay? It's been a long time since I last played this game mode. I've forgotten what I may have said at the end of the last one. I'm going to grab this pallet. It's going to collapse the whole thing. I could try and save it by uh, building frames and stuff underneath, but who's got time for that? Who's got time to try and keep a floating pallet of goodies up in the air. Oh! Oh, I didn't break my leg! Well, sure, that makes the last episode even more frustrating. So if you missed the last episode, I jumped into this big vat of hay here and broke my ankle in the hay, which was bullshit. That time I fell off the second story, missed the hay bales completely, and didn't uh, break my ankles. So I'm happy I didn't break my ankles, but at the same time, I'm even more frustrated I broke it last time. Oh, oh well, yeah, whatever. I'm just, I'm just happy that I can still move at regular speed because that was almost really bad. Oh damn it! I remember now. I needed to put the point into bloody uh, Master Chef, whatever it was. Not slow metabolism. Yeah, Master Chef, so I can actually make some grilled steak because my guy's not uh, smart enough to bang the steak down onto the grill and just cook it up. Oh, I came back here to make myself some more food, and I can't even do it because I didn't put the point in there yet. Oh, damn it. That's frustrating. That's really, really bloody front door. Break your ankles. Oh, thank God. Man, imagine after falling off the last barn if I broke my ankles there. Oh, boy. Oh, that was the wrong exit. Never mind. I'll go back through this way. Right. So I have a bunch of cobble. I have a whole lot of cobble, actually. I don't think I'll ever run out of that ever again. So I should have enough there to finish off the killing corridor, which is good because it's almost night time. So I need to get that shit done. I need to get everything rocking and rolling, ready for the first Grim Horse to show up. Let's just make like 50 of those. I assume I'm going to need quite a few. I don't need to make like all aesthetic and stuff. I just need to get this shit working, which means more and more blocks for me. I'm going to build a wall along the outside here 
to try and protect myself as much as possible. I'm a little bit nervous about the stability or whatever. I'm like, down here is fine because you got this pillar here supporting everything. Like, I've really got nothing up here, but it's right next to the drop in the killing corridor. So I, I don't really want to build too much there either because that's more things for zombies to beat on when they fall down. I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna gamble, which means that I could probably end up destroying all of my hard work and I'll be back to square zero, which would suck. Not even square one. Not even go back to square one. I'll go back to this legitimately square zero, which will suck several camel's dicks. Put you all the way up to here. Yep, just like that. Do a nice little look down here. But all I'm really doing with this wall on the outside is just making it so uh, eventually when cops and things show up or whoever might show up down there, they're not going to start vomiting at me behind me. And then like, uh, later on when I expand the killing corridor and build it out that way and build the same on the other side because symmetricality is super important. Aesthetics and symmetricality are always the most important parts of any build in seven days. I'm going to need some more of these bad boys. Let's go like 20 of those. Um, then yeah, uh, it's should look relatively good but for now it's just about getting functionality the the night why did i gamble why did i gamble on that i was talking about how i didn't think it was going to work i was worried about that exact thing happening and i was like Bah! Don't worry about it, she'll be right. Well, turns out, she wasn't fucking right! Everything is gone, and all of my blocks have been destroyed. I've gone from having an abundance of cobblestone to having probably not enough cobblestone. So maybe I need to uh, build... I, maybe I need to just abandon the idea of building a melee corridor for tonight. I can expand tomorrow. I can do some renovations on the killing corridor tomorrow. But I need to just build just a basic corridor, uh, just a platform even, just for tonight so I can still harvest some XP. It's only day four. I'm not a high level. So the horde that the screw brings shouldn't be too bad. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I did that. Ah, oh, I'm just, I'm just so dumb. There is a tool in like the uh, debug mode to be able to see stability and stuff like that. But that, I mean, well, it's cheating to use that. It's not vanilla seven days, which is part of this whole challenge. Oh, Josh, I'm so, so mad at myself. But I don't have time to be mad at myself right now because time is running out before the horde shows up and I've got nothing. I've got fucking nothing. My pickaxe is almost dead, but all the rubble has been cleared. I'm, so, I'm just so mad at myself. I'm so freaking mad at myself. Okay, wait, I need to make uh, wedge tips. Where are the wedge tips? Because I think I just lost all of them. Make uh, eight of those, please. Uh, do I have any left in that chest up there? I can't tell. <laughs> uh, uh, damn it. Uh, get up there. Reach. Reach, buddy. Use your go-go gadget. There we go. Uh, ramp wedge tips. Okay, I have I have them. That's fine. Let's get the bandages for those. Let's quickly rebuild this. The sun is going down after a freaking terrible day to be me. Let's get all this rebuilt all along to there. There we go. That is a pretty big span. I don't know. That's why that pillar was in the center there to try and protect against that. Uh, one there and one there. And then what we have to do is just go like this and quickly rebuild. Build. <laughs> we have to rebuild. We have to rebuild. No, damn it. That was the wrong one. I pressed it too many times. I have to rebuild quickly. I'm panicking so hard right now and I'm making bad decisions. There we go. We're good. At the very least, we have a very basic corridor set up. I'll get up there somehow. God, that's a bad time. That's a real bad time. They gotta reinforce those pillars. The pillars are the only things left standing after all that. Need to go back inside and grab. I don't even know what I've got to grab. I've got to grab like, some, some barbed wire, maybe? Or at least, at least some more arrows and stuff. The things that are going to make my life a little bit easier when the screamers do show up. I've got a bunch of stone now, which is good to make myself all of those bloody, uh, what we call all the campfires that I'm going to need to lure them in. Oh boy, I'm just, I, I feel like a horde is coming. It's not. It's just, I'm trying to lure in a screamer horse. There's actually no uh, kind of uh, risk to this. There's no uh, weight bearing down on me. It's just me potentially wasting a bunch of time. All right, here we go. I need like, let's just go like freaking, I don't know, like 10 campfires, I guess. Let's make a whole bunch. I need them to all be drawn in by this. And then I also have... Uh, torches. I need to put some torches out here so I can actually see when they show up and so I can actually shoot them. Uh, I hope putting torches around here will light it up enough for me to actually see them. Uh, did I... Oh, I'm, I'm, one, I'm one down. Do I have my flagstone stuff? I think I put it back. No, I didn't. Thank God. Flagstone block. Make one of those. 
Okay, I can go up and sort that out in a second. Oh, campfires do not stack. I thought they stacked. I <laughs> That was a bit silly. All right, you go there and you go there. I may as well do it so that when they fall down here, they fall into campfires, right? I mean, the, the fire doesn't actually do much damage or any like useful damage, but I mean, why not? If they're, if they're on fire, at least I'll be able to see them in the darkness. The most unfortunate thing about all of this is that after all of that, I, uh, I don't have any barbed wire up there. I, I got removed all the barbed wire. Let's put it in for like 10 minutes, I suppose. Okay, you have groups of 12. I can remember that. Turn you on. Kind of get you guys all split up. Nice and easy for me. You have to put you in there. Put you in there. Just get them all rocking and or rolling. Whichever one they prefer to be referred to as. You go in there too. Getting everything turned on. The screamer shouldn't be too far away. In fact, there is night time. So whatever is out here is about to come and fuck me up. No, nope. on. And you. No, nope. that one. That one. That one, in the middle. God, get out of the way, plant. There's one little shrub right in front of me, ruining my life. Get rid of you. Run across to the other side. Turn this one on too. Surely the screamers will be here soon. I am a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. This could go really badly. All right, everything... Oh, I hear some zombies. You know what? Never mind the screamers. There's other Jeffreys coming for me. Quickly, up the corridor. <laughs> it's, it's so pitiful. It was looking so good, and now it looks so bad. Oh my god, it's dark out here. Oh, it's a whole, like, wandering horde. I mean, I'm okay with that. Wandering hordes give me XP too. Yeah, look, even... Oh! Oh, she's on fire. She did actually catch on fire. Well, we can test that again. Let's see if they've, like, patched up the fact that uh, setting zombies on fire does next to dick all damage. One in your eye. So we've got... <laughs> he just ran off! He was like, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. I've had enough of this. Oh, shot her right in the nip! Oh, is it cold out here? Because you are picking up telephone signals with those nipples. I know it's an arrow, but it is right in the center. Dead center mass of her titties. This is good. We're getting the experience that I wanted. I, I don't think night actually lasts for a full 10. So I'm probably gonna have to refuel those at some point. But I've, I've been doing, they're doing the job for now. Where are you going, buddy? You just, you just give up trying to kill me. I put two arrows through your, through your chest, and suddenly you're like, oh, yeah, but nah, I've got better things to do. I've got places to be. Your zombie girlfriend called. You're like, yeah, but I'm in, I'm in the middle of a horde here. I'm trying to fuck up some jawoodles. Oh, look at those guys over there. Put one into you. <laughs> the stealth damage from long range. I got a kill for that, too. I must have hit some bitch in the head. Oh, that, that, I feel like... I feel, I feel a little bit sorry about that, Chelsea. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that to you. But if you want to, like, stay still, I'll put you out of your misery. That's all right. I'll do it on the run, then. I killed whatever of the horde came for me, but the rest of them kind of beat their way through the building over there. They've, uh, I think they started destroying the steps, which sucks, but they can still get up here. They just choose to take the hard way and jump up instead of actually just walking up like regular human zombies. Um, the, 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 the fires have been on for a long time, though. And no screamers shown up yet. I wouldn't have thought it would take this long. Maybe there's one out there. Someone just need to get the attention. Fire up in the air. See if it's around. Hello? Do I have any friends? Nah, nothing. Well, I guess I'll just sit here and wait then until you decide to show up. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Here we go! Look, there's finally a screamer! What up? Thank you for coming out of your well and joining me in my world, ready to use you to get to all your friends. I'm doing the absolute worst thing I could possibly do with anyone, and I'm pretending to like you because you're going to bring all your friends to my party. So please, please come in and join me. Uh, only drink the beers. Please don't touch the spirits. Those aren't meant for you. You don't get the nice stuff. Uh, can you get up the stairs? Are you stuck on the stairs? Oh, she broke the stairs. Hey, what up, knackers? I love what you've done with your frock and your hair. Please call your friends. Why didn't you call your friends? Please don't die in the fire before you call your friends. Bitch tits, call your goddamn friends. There's no reason you're here. You're really starting to get on my nipples. Maybe I need to shoot her to get her to do what I want. Oh, I think she was about to start screaming. Oh, and I interrupted her. Damn, well, she definitely knows I'm here now. If, oh, no, actually, it's okay. That little grumble she did counts as a scream. Good, 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 good. Okay, so that's one scream from old mate Screamer, uh, Screamer Jane down there. I was going to call her Screamer Jeffrey, but I guess I guess I was probably going to come up with like a female version of the name Jeffrey, specifically for the female zombies. You got you to scream again for me? I'll kill your friends. Kill you. What are, what are you guys doing? Arlene's just having a party with Chelsea on there. They're all playing Leapfrog. I'm not sure that's how... Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad I put the fires down there. Watching zombies run around on fire like a, 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 a running flaming Molotov is just fantastic. I think that's her third scream. Something just exploded somewhere. Do you guys see that? I thought it was thunder for a second. I realized this isn't a horde night and it probably shouldn't be thunder. Something out there definitely went boom. 
I, I don't know, maybe, maybe someone bought their car and they parked in a bad neighborhood. Kill you. Oh, damn it, he dodged it. That's fine. I've gone to the hunting role for now just because I can just look. They're all just lined up like ducks. I can't wait until Alpha 18. Uh, uh, rumor has it they're bringing in like bullet penetration to Alpha 18. And being able to like sit here. <gasps> that's the extra skill point I need. Be able to sit here and just like get a whole bunch of headshots in one go will be fan flipping tastic. It will take the hunting rifle to the next level. I don't think, I mean, if I, if I was going to be coding it, which I'm not, probably, uh, but if I was, then I would make it that only the hunting rifle gets the penetration perk to give the slower firing rate like uh, a, a trade off kind of thing. Like, sure, the marksman rifle fires more bullets. You can get more zombies with the hunting rifle. And I think that makes a whole lot of sense. Thank you for calling your friend, sweetheart, but I'm done with you now. Oh, she got, she got blown away. She was flying off the back of the killing corridor. That's fantastic. Although I think. Oh, wait. Wait, there's two? Wait, which one did I kill? Did I kill the old one or the new one? Oh, no. Oh, I, I may have ruined it. I may have ruined the chain of screamers by killing the wrong one. I really hope that's not the case. I'm not going to kill this one just so hopefully she can bring her friends. Are you, are you coming back up? Yep, there you are. I'm going to put one into your knees. There we go. Shoot you like that so you get real pissed off at me. Then hopefully you'll make the call. I feel like you have, even if I didn't hear it. There we go. All right, I think, I hope that's your first. All the zombies have suddenly become real disinterested in me. Something else just broke. I'm not sure what it was. You guys need to stop breaking shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, they haven't broke. I thought for a second they broke the actual way up, and I was really, really not excited about that. But they've all kind of just kind of given up on the whole come and kill Josh thing, and they're just chilling out down around the corridor. Where are you going? Where are you going, Shells? No, you're supposed to go up the up the proper way. Take the stairs, please. There's nothing for you over here. Oh, no. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. Oh, no. They're still getting up, though. I don't understand. What's happening here? It's suddenly very quiet. There's lesser zombies. I didn't really notice it before, but all of the campfires have run out of fuel, which means no more screamers, which means this is the last couple of zombies I get to kill. Don't... Oh, yep. He's just, he just flipped off. Was that a, a loot bag I just saw? Or it was probably just an arrow. Okay, that's okay. Uh, you shoot you right in the spine. He's dead and jump. There we go. Kill him as well. Is that everyone? I think everyone's dead. Okay. Well, no, I was still, I was still crouching. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna leave all the campfires there. I'll get them another day. Any of you idiots have any arrows in you? Any arrows floating around? I don't think so. Well, that worked out rather well. We've come out of that with two levels to spend. I'm gonna put one straight into my Master Chef. And what else am I going to put it into? Maybe like from the shadows, ninja movement? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just keep that point so that you guys can let me know where I should probably spend it because someone will tell me that I've done everything wrong, I'm sure. Oh, that reminds me. I need. I know it's like nearing the end of the episode, but I need to say a lot of people in the last uh, episode were talking about how I was wasting skill points because you only need to put like uh, all your points into uh, bloody, what should we call it? The, what's it actually called? Um, this thing, Grease Monkey. You only need to get up to here to be able to build your gyrocopter. And that's not the case. You need to be a level at 100, you need to be level 120 for that to happen. So until you get to level 120, it doesn't matter what you spend your points on. You should be spending your points on whatever is going to get you uh, as many uh, points as fast as you can. I can't see Dick in here. Give me a torch. Give me the torch, please. I'm back down to the ground. God damn it. I thought I was still at the top. But yeah, so it doesn't matter how you spend the points at the start. It just matters that you survive and get as much XP as possible. So if that's what you've been thinking, that's what you posed in the last one, there is your answer. It's not a waste of points at all. Finally, I can make all the grilled meat I'll make. My heart can desire. That one, that's going to take 14 minutes. I've got 244 minutes worth of fuel in there. Let's maybe go... Uh, let's just get this as close as we can. 13, uh, 13, 27, 13, 58, boop, 14, 17, that'll do, turn on. That'll probably draw in a screamer, that and the torches, but that's okay. If one does show up, it's gonna be that big of a deal because it is almost 4 a.m., which means that I am going to have to leave this episode here. I will come back and do some more. Now that I have some sort of killing corridor there, it should be pretty easy to just like bulk grind levels and get up there as fast as possible. Please let me know what I need to spend that last skill point on because I, I just don't know. I don't know where it, sh it should go. I do have the sledgehammer, but I've already maxed out like the available strength perks. Maybe I should put into Lucky Looter to try and get some better loot for, uh, on tomorrow, but I do need to rebuild the killing corridor tomorrow. 
I don't know. There's lots of things I need to do. So, so I'm trying to spread myself too thin. I need to pick one thing to do and do that and try and do it well, which is for, for me, as you can tell by the fact I collapsed my own bloody building design. Doing things well, not really my strong suit, but I'll have to try and do those things well in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If y'all like the mission like button down below, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.